Hello, children. We are going to learn about faith. So let me teach you a song. Sing along with me. children in our new series we want to talk about faith faith is a very important subject because the bible says without faith we cannot please god so we need to walk by faith we need to talk by faith live by faith and grow in faith so what is faith faith is believing what god says in the bible he will do and faith is also being confident that what we hope for and what we pray for will come true. For example, I believe that God can help me because His Word says that He is powerful. I believe that God will always love me because the Bible says that He is love. And I believe that God will watch over me and I have faith that He will do that for me because God never sleeps. So in our new series, we want to use the acronym of FAITH to learn how we can grow in faith. And the first acronym of FAITH is Fantastic Adventures in Trusting Him. Our Bible memory verse says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. Taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. When our hearts are set upon Christ, the Christian life is far from being boring. Walking closely with Jesus is a lifelong journey. It is a walk of faith filled with adventures and many exciting moments. Let's learn more. Hi children, I'm getting ready for a trip. What would you pack if you are going on a trip? Let's see if it is the same as mine. I will pack some clothes, jacket, pants. Let's put it in. Yes, not forgetting toothbrush, toothpaste, body foam. Let's put it in. Water bottle. A cap to protect me from the sun. Hmm. Do you think there is anything else? Oh yes! Maybe you have a cho-cho like mine. I cannot go to bed without it. Let's put it in. Now, talking about going for a trip, do you know Jesus likes to go on trips with his disciples? Let's see what happened. Now, when Jesus was on earth, he traveled from village to village, teaching, healing people, and casting out demons. Now, one day, he called his 12 disciples to him and said, I want you to go out two by two. I am giving you all of the authority you need to cast out evil spirits. Wow! That meant that they would have to travel from town to town, just like Jesus. They probably thought to themselves, Wow, I had better go home and start packing. But then, 
Jesus gave them further instructions. Take nothing for your journey except a walking stick. No food, no bag and no money. You can wear sandals but no extra clothing. What? No food, no money, no extra clothing? How could the disciples possibly make this journey? But the disciples, they obeyed and they found people who welcomed them and they stayed with them in their homes. These people fed them and gave them everything they needed for the journey. The Bible tells us that disciples went out telling everyone they met to repent of their sins and turn to God. They also cast out many evil spirits and healed many sick people. They did exactly what Jesus told them to do and He gave them the power to do it. What an adventure! With no packing, the disciples went on their trips by faith. Fantastic adventures in trusting Him! They did exactly what Jesus told them to do and He gave them the power to do it. And we too can do the same. We can go about telling others about Jesus and praying for them. We can do it by faith. Edward Michael Grills, popularly known as Bear Grills. He's a celebrity that's known all around the world as an outdoor adventurer, survivalist and the star of Discovery Channel's Man vs. Wild. He was born in 1974 in London, England. While in school, he was bullied by some boys and this forced him to become stronger so that he can defend himself against those bullies. So, he learned martial arts and even earned a black belt in karate. In 1994, Bear served three years with the elite British Special Air Service where he honed his survival skills. While on a mission in Africa, his parachute malfunctioned and this caused him to fall from the sky. He was severely injured and the doctor said that he could never walk again in his life. Oh dear, what would you do children if you are in that situation? But listen, even after sustaining severe injuries, Bear Grylls did not lose hope. In fact, he even continued to dream about climbing Mount Everest. Just after 18 months of his severe accident, he actually conquered the summit of Mount Everest and he became one of the youngest person to do so. He said that he relied on prayer and the Word of God throughout the dangerous and potentially deadly climb. His faith in God carried him through his wild adventures. Like Bear Grylls, people who walk by faith do not give up. They go on and on in spite of their fears and doubts. And that is why our Bible memory verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 tells us, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Wow, what an adventurous life Bear Grylls had. Children, did you know that we don't have to climb Mount Everest to get to the heart of what an adventure is? An adventure is about hearing and obeying the voice of Jesus. Jesus told us to go and make disciples. That's our adventure. Sometimes we delay following His command because we think we are not ready. If we would just go like the disciples did, he will give us the ability to share the good news with others. So let us go and walk by faith, not by sight, not by fear. So what is faith? Faith is fantastic adventures in trusting Him. Let us pray. Dear God, we know that many people need to hear the good news of Jesus. And you have commanded us to go and share your good news and make disciples. 
Help us to be willing to hear, to obey, and to go. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And all of God's children say, Amen. Thank you for watching Harvest Kids Online. Well, did you answer what is faith? Faith is fantastic adventures in trusting Him. We must always keep trusting in God. That's right. And wishing all teachers a Happy Teacher's Day! So see you again next week, same time.